Point Pointers, my name is Ms. Ganaris and I will be your principal next year at Sparrows Point Middle School. Today we had an opportunity to get into the building, so we wanted to take this as a way to give you a little bit of a tour. I know you all are going to be wondering, where am I going? How am I going to get around? Where is everything? Um, we weren't able to give you a tour in the way that we normally do since school's been closed, but we're going to give you a tour today. So first, before I go in, I'm going to put on my mask, my face mask, because we're respecting social distancing, and I'm going to introduce you to a special friend of mine, okay? All right, here we go. and that's why you'll hear me refer to you as our new pointers. Welcome to the pointer family. We're gonna get headed on the, the, the tour here and we're gonna make our way down to the cafeteria because everyone wants to know, where am I going to eat? So follow me. Okay, this way. As we go to the cafeteria, I'm going to stop and show you our school library. Our library is shared with our high school and middle school. So if you take a look around, we have our library over here. We have our middle school side is in the corner. Um, these usually are filled with computers, but right now our custodians have been doing a really good job of cleaning our school and making sure it is sterilized for when our students finally return. So come on, I'm gonna take you down to the cafeteria. Now as we walk our way down to the cafeteria, one thing that you should know is that this is a high school hallway. So our middle schoolers really don't travel these hallways much because we try to be quiet and um, be respectful of the learning that's happening in the high school because they do have a different schedule than we do. So our cafeteria is straight ahead. And as we walk to the cafeteria, I'm gonna pause right here and just let you see that there are two bathrooms right outside the cafeteria. We have a girls restroom and we have a boys restroom. Okay, come on. And I'm going to pause right here and show you that these are the steps. These are the steps that you use when you come down from the middle school to go to the cafeteria. And you also have access to these bathrooms. And we shut these bathrooms during the day so that it's only accessible to our middle school students during our lunch shifts. So come on in. This is our cafeteria, okay? And it is a big cafeteria. What you'll notice over here is we have a side where students can get lunch over here. We sell, that's where we sell our pretzels, our hot pretzels, and that's one of my favorite things to get when I didn't pack lunch for the day. So if you come this way, We have two cafeteria lines. So we have one line here, and we have another line on the other side. And so you will start two lines. Now our sixth graders normally sit to this side of the cafeteria. So our sixth graders, when you come in, you will, hold on, I'm going through a maze. You will line up at this door to go through the cafeteria line, and you will sit on this side of the cafeteria. Okay. okay, come on, follow me. Okay, the next place I'm going to take you is to the gym. And we have two gyms. We have the high school gym and we have the middle school gym. Sometimes we get to go in the high school gym. 
when we have big events, we do a nice job of sharing in this building because we are one school in one building with the high school. So I'm gonna pause right here. We have two offices here. In this office, you'll find Mr. Sevchek, and Mr. Sevchek is one of our PE teachers. And right over here, you'll see Ms. Ryan, and she's our other PE teacher. So you can find either one of them in these offices. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're gonna get, it's gonna be a little spooky because I did not turn the lights on, so. Let's go and let's hope, fingers crossed, I can find the lights. Oh, look at that, they just turned right on. I didn't even know. <laughs> so this is our middle school gym and you see that we have basketball nets and we have Come on over here, I want to show you something. This is really important. In our high school gym, our, our, our middle school gym, you're going to see our code of conduct and you're going to see our PBIS signs. You'll see these in every single one of the classrooms to make sure that we are following our Sparrows Point code of conduct and we are showing Sparrows Point pride in all that we do. Okay? All right, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna see if the locker rooms are open. I wanna take you in there. Oh, yes, we're gonna go into the girls' locker room. Now, boys, this is the only time you're allowed in the girls' locker room, okay? Follow me. Okay. Here we have the girls' locker room, and each student will get their own locker. So you will have to remember two locker com combinations, one for upstairs and one for downstairs, okay? You will hear Ms. Ryan and Mr. Subcheck tell you, don't ever share your locker combination and write it down somewhere, okay? Your first month here will be, that will be your biggest challenge is remembering both those combinations. So write it down somewhere, stick it in your pocket, and don't share it with anyone, okay? We are going to, then I'm gonna take you upstairs and we're gonna get down into the middle school and I'm gonna show you around that area. Stay tuned. Hi again. Okay, so now you guys found me in my office. This is where all the think tank happens. I hope I see you in the office for good things mostly. This is where I meet with parents. This is where I meet with teachers. And I, I, like I said, again, I hold lunch bunches in here, so you could be in here for good reasons. I want to introduce you to my talking sloth. Say hi, sixth graders. Say hi, sixth graders. Say welcome to Sparrow's Point. Say welcome to Sparrow's Point. Ready to see more? Ready to see more? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we are in Ms. Saritas' room, and Ms. Saritas is one of our sixth grade math teachers, and she is fantastic. Ms. Saritas is also our math department chair. So let's take a little gallery walk of what are some of the things you're gonna learn in math. So if we look here, I see we're gonna learn about dividing decimals and multiplying. Have you guys learned some of those things? I hope you have a good foundation for this. Okay. Adding and subtracting decimals. I know you guys have learned to add and subtract numbers and with multiple digits. Now we're going to stick some decimals in. Okay, come on over here. Now, up here you see all the standards for mathematical practices. I've been in your elementary schools. I've seen these signs. I know you know this. Okay, so next year we're going to be keeping them up with those standards of mathematical practices. Okay, right now I'm sitting in Ms. Michael's sixth grade English language arts class, and that is my favorite subject. I love English language arts. And when you're in here, you'll notice that you'll see anchor charts, 
you'll see parts of speech. Some of the things you're gonna learn a little bit more about is the parts of speech and grammar. You're gonna learn something called parenthetical phrases. Isn't that exciting? I challenge you, try to figure out what a parenthetical phrase is before you come next year and go tell Miss Bonning. Miss Bonning will love it. Okay, we're gonna head on now to science. We're gonna see some science classrooms and we're gonna go into Miss McQuaid's classroom. She is way cool. Stay tuned. Oh, hi again. I'm in Miss McQuaid's room. This is my favorite place to play. She does so many cool experiments and she is the one who plans our sixth grade trip away. If you look around here, things are about to get real with science. First of all, let me show you this. I can define the problem and identify constraints in the engineering design process. And then I'm gonna build a safety helmet. You're gonna get to build stuff in here, but it has to be scientific. You have to use math and you're gonna to have to explain what you're doing in writing. So all these skills get meshed together in Ms. McQuaid's class. Let me show you this too, hold on. This is the periodic table of elements. Look at all of those elements. You're gonna learn how all of those elements work together. If you study those elements and you can name a few when you come into Miss McQuaid's class, she is gonna lose her mind. That's my challenge to you. Now I'm gonna get out of here because I'm wearing goggles and they are fogging up. When you do experiments in here, you have to wear goggles. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, now I'm in Miss Knight's class. Miss Knight teaches sixth grade history. And let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something that I learned. I wish that I would have listened more in history class. I encourage you all to really pay attention to the cool stories you're gonna learn because if I had to do it all over again, I would have listened a little bit better and I'm gonna tell you why. Come on over to this boy. First of all, you learn about crusades and knights in medieval times. You learn about the church and how the church and state did things differently or together. And then, look at this. Come on over here a little bit further. This is the Black Death, okay? And this is a story of a long time ago when they had diseases that hit their communities and how that impacted their civilization. Kind of like what we're going through right now. And here's the most important thing I can tell you about history. We always use lessons from the past to do better in the future. And I think that's why we're doing so good at this right now. Okay, come on over here because there's one more thing you need to know about history. You're gonna learn all about history. You're gonna learn about it, but like again, like what I said in science, you're also going to read about it. You have to be able to know, here I'm gonna turn you just a little bit over this way. You have to know a little bit about who wrote something, why they wrote it, um, and their perspective and their purpose. Because sometimes when you read historical content, it brings in different perspectives. And when it does that, you need to make sure to look at the documents and say, do these documents say the same things or different things? And was that imp impacted by someone's perspective? And then after that, you're gonna need to go and look further into it and determine, can I rely on this document? These are all still things that we do now. So again, history class is so important because it teaches us to be better in the future by looking at past mistakes, okay. So now that you've seen English, math, social studies, and science, we're gonna share with you some of our special areas. So our next stop is going to be art. Follow me. Now I'm in art class, and this is where all the creative juices fly. This is where you can really use art to express yourself. And that's what our students enjoy most about being in art class. Whether you're in Ms. Nestor's class, for Mr. Deez's class. 
This is where you really use what you learn to express who you are as a person. I'm looking here at some of these splats that our students did before they left. They're just beautiful. Let me tell you, you're gonna create things in this class and you're gonna learn from very talented artists. I know many of you may have heard about the trashy fashion show. I'm in Miss Nestor's room right now and she runs that trashy fashion show. And you should see the beautiful things that she creates. In fact, when she went to college, she went to college for design because she wanted to be a fashion designer. And she does such beautiful things. I can't wait for you to meet her. This is another one of my special area classes that I just love. We call this special area CTE, otherwise known as Bethlehem Steel 2.0, Engineering for Our Future. A lot of you have had grandparents, aunts and uncles that worked for Bethlehem Steel. And so we brought this program on because we really wanted to bring in the history of the community, but also talk about it in a way that is the history and our future in engineering and design. So there are lots of cool tools in here that you'll use. This is one of our special area classes. And I'm only going to touch this rubbery stick because that will keep me safe. I definitely don't touch any of this cool equipment without goggles, gloves, and the supervision of Mr. Potts. He's awesome. Okay, last stop is going to be Spanish. So I'll see you there. Hola, como estas? Muy bien? Oh, si. Okay, I'm in Spanish, and so far, that's about all I know, but I do know my other favorite sentence is, me gusta tus zapatos. That means I like your shoes. If you go to Spanish next year, you're going to learn so many more words to say in Spanish. We have four awesome Spanish teachers, and Spanish is hard because you're learning a different language, but you know what? I wouldn't want to learn a language with anyone else other than the four teachers we have here at Sparrows Point Middle School. So that concludes our tour of Sparrows Point, and I cannot wait until you're here. I can't wait until we're back. No matter what that looks like, we don't know yet, but either way, we can't wait to have you as a new pointer. Buenos dias!